The Tampa Bay Buccaneers have defeated the Seattle Seahawks in the first ever NFL game in Germany. Now, you watch the whole game play-by-play from the first snap. How did the Pewter Pirate superstar team look? Well, first of all, I'm the Pewter Pirate. We're the Pewter Pirates. But, I mean, how did the boys look? They looked very good. First of all, the German fans were absolutely incredible. Every seat in that stadium was absolutely filled. They were going crazy the whole time. And what an electric environment coming out game one in Germany. And and it was absolutely amazing. Um, you had, you know, people were saying, commenting on our last video about this, that there was going to be basically only Seahawks fans and there's a big Seahawks following and nah. blah, blah, blah. Now, there were so many Bucks jerseys, so many Tom Brady Tom jerseys. Tom Brady. People showed up for Tom Brady. And I know there was a little bit of Boston in the stadium because they were singing Sweet Caroline. At the two-minute warning. How bro, incredible is that? The Sweet Caroline, they sang um, Country Roads at the end of the game. It was absolutely incredible. That shows you. We were talking about how Europeans feel about Americans, and we've talked about that on some of our videos. They love Tom Brady, and they love American football. They definitely do. And the Bucks, you know, they came out, and they they did in this game what they haven't been able to do all season. They were Say able it. to establish, establish the, the run. run. They were able to convert. On third down. I think on third down, they were like 10 for 15. Wow. While the Seahawks were like one for nine, something like that. Wow. And a bunch of those were were rushing first downs. Rashad White, MVP of the game for short. Round of applause. Ended the game with 105 yards rushing. And got first. the game ball, by the way. Did he actually get he, the He see, actually got the game I ball. I didn't even know that, and I just called him the MVP of the game, and it was actually true. Um he was able to get the first downs that the Bucks have not been able to get all season where you can run the ball on third and one, third and two, and he was getting the first downs. Now, I believe this is the first running back performance for the Bucks since week one yeah. where a running back had over 100 yards. He, he rushed for 100. Rashad White had 105 rushing yards, um, which it's interesting. We saw a balance offensively for the receivers again. You know, you didn't have – Anybody over 100 yards, everybody was kind of balanced out. Uh, you had some incredible plays by everybody, even Brake going to get the first down. He didn't have super high yards, but they made the catches when they needed to. That was Scotty, it. Scotty Miller was jumping way out of the stadium to make catches he could have scored and, and all types of stuff. But the energy was amazing. And I, I heard uh, Tom's interview, his post-game interview, and he was talking about how this game was in – listen to this. This game – Tom Brady said was one of the greatest experiences of his life. Yes, and I don't think he was just a- appeasing to the fans at all by any means. They were absolutely electric. Um, I think that's totally true for a regular season game. They were amazing. But, yes, you said it right. It was the players making plays when they needed to. Now that was why they won. That's on the offense. Now, I did want to bring up a point on the defense. You know, uh, up to this game, there was a lot of criticism of Devin White. Started with Warren Sapp and um, – Devin White's father passed away on Thursday, so he was yeah. coming into this game with a lot to prove, a lot of emotions. Uh, obviously, if you're watching, bro, we love you and uh, pray that there's a lot of emotional healing there. But uh, he was determined to go out and prove himself as the leader of this defense. Bro, he now, was flying around from the very first snap on defense. He was making tackles sideline to sideline, and I was like, hey, I think he's got it this game. Bro, because he played off the energy, but then he has his father's uh, passing to motivate him. And uh, I think he showed up big, and I think he showed up to redeem himself as a leader of this defense. How do you feel about that? I definitely think it was. Um, and he made he made a big play when they needed to. You know, Tom Brady threw an interception. They were Man. driving down the field. Um, and if the Seahawks put points on the board, then the Bucks would have been in a deficit. And Devin White, even though he may have not taken the greatest angle on the play, he stuck his arm out and stripped Geno Smith, Smith of the ball. What a mistake by Geno, bro. That's junior high stuff. Big turnover right there. And I think something to be said is, is that, you know, Devin White's dad passed away when he was 45 years old. And that can be something to remind Devin White for the rest of his life of, hey, I'm yeah, doing this for man. my dad, and I'm going to go out and perform every game like this as the leader of my defense. Well, like you said, that play, was, in my opinion, was the play of the game because we had the lead – but that interception broke our momentum. We plowed down the field. I thought we were going to score again. That interception breaks the momentum on a – what a play. Anyway, uh, I'll ask you about that in a second. But then they come all the way down the field, and then boom, force fumble. Geno fumbles the ball, carrying it like a toddler. And Devin White got in there, smacked that thing, and uh, and we recovered the fumble. So I do want to ask, you know, there <laughs> – it, it looked like, uh, Tom Brady said he's never had a receiving touchdown, but he's caught the ball a few times. It looked like um, they had this great plan that Tom Brady was going to have some receiving yards in this game. What did that look like to you? 
So what happened was, is they went to a wildcat formation. And, you know, I was just talking um, to my dad as we were watching the game, and I was saying, hey, you know, like they've been calling a really good, sound <laughs> offensive game, not making any mistakes. Then they go to a wildcat formation. And I'm like, like bro, <laughs> what are they doing? Then they run a play, and on that play, nobody was covering Tom Brady. And they saw that, I think, and went to run it again. And then as Tom Brady said in his interview, he kind of tried to tell Lenny, like, hey, don't do it. But then they were covering him. Then the ball's up in the air, and it was a terrible pass, bro. Right. It was a, such a duck. It just was way <laughs> – if if the ball was perfect, there still wasn't a chance of Tom Brady catching this ball. But nah, yeah. it was still a terrible pass, and Tom said mm -hmm. that he tried to go knock it out of the guy's hands, and he looked mm -hmm. like a 45-year-old man, very unathletic. And it showed um, as he fell on the ground, then tripped the guy with his foot, got a tripping yeah. penalty. So he intentionally was just like, bro, kicked his shins. And, and well, like, out. he kind of, like, fell on the ground, and his legs are out just sitting there. <laughs> Since he fell on the ground, slipped on his butt like an old man. And then, like, just, like, they, like lay put, down slowly. Like, like put uh, his uh, – no, uh, he's, like, slipped. And then put his left foot up in the air in between the guy's legs to trip him. It would have been, like, a tripping penalty in hockey. He's going to be icing his hip now. <laughs> he's going to be at the house. He's on the plane ride home right now icing it. Now, um, last comment I want to make, because this really was was a great game. Obviously, fourth quarter performance defensively was not uh, as good as the rest of the game. Um, they came down, scored. They came down, scored again. And it looked like it was going to be, you know, if they if they had gotten another one in the end zone, we were going to have some issues. Um, I still think we would have won the game, you know, came down with a field goal. But uh, and what a kicker. But anyway, um, I, I do want to ask you now, coming out of this game, we're on a two winning streak. What a beautiful victory. The first ever in Germany as a nation. We love the German people. I know they love American football. And um, we're going into a bye week. Yep. So that means other than the guys being treated – from now until next Monday, nobody's practicing football for the Bucks. Do you think, like we've seen with the Lightning, that has a negative effect on them or they're going to come back on the bye week with the same energy they're coming out of Bayern Munich with? You know, I think that this this bye week period is going to be good for the Bucks. I think it's going to be good physically to get some recovery, and I think it's going to be good mentally to be able to actually have some time to do some self-scouting and yeah. being able to figure out what am I doing wrong as opposed to when you're game-to-game, you're just focused on the next opponent and right. how do I need to game plan for the next opponent? During this, some of the guys that met, some of the young guys that have been struggling on the offensive line, maybe they can be able to sit down and, and get a couple things fixed. So I think the combination of getting those things fixed um, outweighs kind of the momentum of what they gathered this week going into the bye week. Bye week big. Um, going back to what you said versus having some struggles on defense at the end of the game. You know, whenever you go to a prevent defense, it prevents you from winning. So they were yeah. they, they were very aggressive most of the game. The defensive line played incredible. They were dialing up blitzes and getting home to the quarterback, getting pressure on Geno Smith. And um, at the end of the game, they kind of like relaxed and backed up, trying to prevent them from getting to the end zone. Yeah. And when you do that, when you do that, it creates space. So I so think that's what that space. was. That's where you get those six, seven, eight yard receptions. Bow, bow, bow. They plot yep. on the field, and you're really playing the game with the clock at that point. You're just absolutely you're, you're letting the clock pay out. So, so it was huge to get once the Bucks had the ball back, and they were able to do again what they haven't been able to do all season, and they just ran the ball down their throat. Rashad White um, on the game winning play, technically, I guess, when he just broke outside on and got 12 yards rush and he could have he could have just ran to the end zone he kind of looked at the end zone looked at the guy and did the very mature thing not a rookie move and just sat down and that kind of sealed it because at that's that point they can sign, just take man. knees he's a great guy we did the meet the boys video on him and looking forward to seeing Absolutely. what he does moving forward he's going to be probably starting depending on we don't know what's going on Leonard Fournette was injured in the third in the third quarter no uh word on what it was yet or what that's going to do to his playing time coming up. We may see a Rashad White starting uh, coming up on another great Bucks week after the bye week. We appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Get together. Have a party. Put on the Bow Parade. And uh, it helps us out a lot. We really appreciate you guys. All the interactions, all the comments coming from Germany and people watching from Germany. And yeah, watching if you were there the at the game, let us know down how Drop it was. A if, if you're a German that was... Let us know what your expectations were and how the turnout was if you want to see another NFL game in Germany. Yeah, we want to interact with you guys, and we want the NFL to see that American football does belong more in Europe. We will see you guys next time on the Boat Parade. You know you can look me in the eye It's all because of Jesus He the reason I'm alive I live by faith, by grace You know that I ain't got to strive They told me, Tony.